In this problem, we're being asked to determine a sample space and an outcome for something called a compound event. We've dealt with single events so far, flipping a coin or picking a marble out of a bag, basically doing one thing. A compound event means you're doing a couple of different things. So in this one, you have a box, and in that box are three cards, and they are numbered one, two, and three. And you're going to pick one of those out of there. And you have a bag. And it's got three marbles in it. Or three balls. And they're labeled A, B, and C. So you're going to pick one from here and pick one from here. So that's a compound event. There are two things you're doing. In the past, when we uh, wrote the shorthand to describe an event, like, say, picking the card one, you'd just write it as a one. You'd put it in these curly brackets. Um, for that event. When we do a compound event, we just usually stick those numbers or letters together. So if I picked a 1 and then a B, I would just write 1B. So let's look at what this problem is asking. It says Lamar will randomly pick a card from the box and record the number chosen. Then he will randomly pick a ball from the bag and record the letter chosen. Give the sample space describing all the possible outcomes. Then give all of the outcomes for the, for the event that the letter chosen is A. OK, so the sample space means everything that could happen. And we're going to put those, I think I'll use the text tool for this. We're going to put these in the, in the curly brackets. So sample space, let's do it here. So we could pick one from the, the box of cards and then an A, or we could pick a one and then a B, or a one and then a C. And we could pick a two and then an A, or a two and then a C, I mean a B, and then a two and then a C. And we could also pick a 3 and an A, a 3 and a B, and a 3 and a C. And I think that's all the possible events. So this is our sample space. Now, we want to uh, make a set that shows the event that the letter chosen is A. We're still choosing a card. So you could have 1 A or you could have 2a, or you could have 3a. Those are all the possible outcomes where the letter chosen is a. So that is how to write a sample space and an outcome for a compound event.